Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Jenkins Pipeline Authoring SIG. The date is May 22nd, 2020. We're midway through, or I don't even know if it's midway, but we are somewhere in points of a, the world pandemic, so hope everybody is safe. Uh, this meeting is governed by the Jenkins Code of Conduct, which is, amounts to be awesome to one another. Uh, please don't make me have to use that which I don't think we've ever, I've never had to or seen it. So in any event, uh, my name is Marky Jackson. I am one of the SIG leads for the pipeline authoring. And uh, I see we have some new people uh, on there. Uh, I see familiar faces. Uh, I see a few names that I haven't, one name that I haven't seen before. If you'd like to introduce yourself, please feel free. Hey, this is... Keegan Otteson, um, just joining in, seeing what this is about. Um, probably listen in a bit before contributing too much. Uh, I work with Stephen, decent amount at Booz Allen Hamilton. So excited to join. Awesome. Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're a ragtag bunch. I'll try to keep it light, I think. Uh, okay, I am going to share my screen and we can get started. But on Fortunately, let's see if this works for me. Nope, because I re uh, had to format my system, it is new. Does anybody else want to share the screen for the meeting notes? I can't do it without leaving this meeting, so Zoom can take my settings. I got it, Marky. Thanks. Awesome. Okay, uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and start. Open items from last meeting. Uh, I was unable to attend last meeting due to a, a personal conflict, but uh, I see we did go over a lot of things. I do see, let me see, next steps. I am going to start from the Jenkins runner update. Next steps was integration test mini framework, including pipeline is YAML. Do we know if that, uh, whose action item that was? So Oleg was saying that he um, he released 1.0, 8.12 of the Jenkins file runner. Um, he mentioned that that might be an opportunity to, to leverage the Jenkins file runner for integration testing for pipelines, right? which is an interesting idea. Jenkins file runner lets you sort of do one-shot Jenkins masters to run a pipeline. So there might be an opportunity to leverage that for, for integration testing. He also said he was going to incorporate support for pipeline as YAML into the Jenkins file runner so that uh, he could get some experience with, with pipeline as YAML and test it out. Um, so I think any, any follow on items for that would be an update from Oleg the next time he's able to, to join us. Yeah, I will, I'll sync with him offline, to see if he has an update to that and I will add it to the notes. Uh, we usually sync multiple times throughout the day. So I'll, I'll get him. Uh, let's see, pipeline is YAML update. Next steps was integrate the pipeline generator. Do we know who was discussing that? That was uh, Eintuck. Uh, I don't see him available on the, the call today. I'm also, I apologize, Eintuck, if I butchered pronunciation, uh, but he he's currently working on pipeline is YAML. Um, didn't get an update last week in regard to the, the pipeline generator. Okay, we'll go ahead and- But the goal that. for that was to be able to, to for the, the pipeline syntax generator to be able to spit out uh, pipeline as YAML equivalents for, for snippets. Okay, we'll punt that until next meeting. And let's see here. Uh, with Jenkins templating engine for 2.0, I don't see any action items. Did you have anything in regards to that? Uh, no, no action items. Just uh, we were pretty light on agenda last week, so I figured I'd give an update on the scope for the 2.0 release since it was it's on the Jenkins roadmap now. So no action items there. Okay, too 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 easy. Uh, let's see, facilitate contribu contributions to plugins. There's really no action items for that. Awesome, I will move on from that to discuss. 
We have the Hackfest, the pipeline documentation. I believe you entered this in, Mark. Did you want to speak to this? Uh, sure. I just had a, an idea that what I'm going to do is, well, one, encourage people to contribute. If they're interested in contributing pipeline documentation, there's a piece of pipeline documentation that is complicated. It's complicated because you have to document inside plugins, not just documenting on the Jenkins.io site. And we could touch on that in the DocSig office hours if that helps. Um, there's so much to do on the Jenkins.io site that's much more approachable for people, much more comfortable than having to find a specific plugin and update its documents that I'm prone to leave it off for now, but it could be an advanced topic that we could consider if, if there is some interest. It, it's one that I've learned the hard way manage, maintaining a Git plugin that I can't just go to an ASCII doc file write its documentation and be done. I have to think carefully and put it into certain places in the plugin structure to have it visible then in the help, in the syntax generator, and in the online Jenkins.io doc. So that was okay. the first piece. The second proposal there was, I think I'm just gonna, as part of my Hackfest contribution, do a, a blog post and a five minute video highlighting the pipeline snip, snippet generator. I still think we get far too much feedback on the Jenkins.io site, which says, give me more examples where the people don't realize the examples are, are already inside their system, ready to be used. That, that would actually to... be really awesome. Uh, I know a lot of, I get a lot of questions for that. And if people actually saw some way to use that, if I can help you in any way doing that, I would be more than happy. Because I know Thanks. that would stop a lot of questions. <laughs> Great. Well, and I mean, I write Jenkins pipelines on a daily basis, and I still use the snippet generator almost every time I need to figure out the particular syntax. Like, and I know so Jenkins I'm, as well as you can at this point, and I use it every day. Right. I am. <laughs> yep. I am. We should be intentionally lazy in in generating things the, the simplest way possible, and snippet generator is one of those simplest way possible to generate it. Absolutely. And that's yeah, all. We for can me. help you out. Let me know. We'll definitely, I'd love to help you out. Okay. Uh, I had an item on here, tracking roadmap items with Jira stories. So one of the things that we need to do is for the roadmap uh, is to really start to dial, uh, drill down into creating stories for those. So those can be updated on the actual roadmap that was put forth by Oleg. So I am going to be spending some time this long holiday weekend uh, going over what, you know, what is out there, what matches. Uh, so you may see, see some pings from me where I'm, you know, like with uh, JTE, like, Hey, would this be a good thing to pull into that sort of store? So would this story be good to pull into the roadmap for JTE and, and other things like there's things like linting and, and things like that. So I'm going to be doing that. Uh, I'll make a note here. So that's correct me if I'm wrong, but I think right now, if you go to the roadmap, Jenkins.io project roadmap. So right now, are we linking to like epics? Is that so the that's way what works? we'll do? Yeah, that's what okay. I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take the epics that we have on the roadmap and then start to associate stories with those. So you're able to do a mapping from the roadmap to where all of this exists. Awesome. So that is what I will be doing. Uh, that is all I had for any discussion items. Does anybody else have anything that they would like to discuss? I will add that, uh, has anybody noticed an uptick in conversations in the Gitter channel for the pipeline authoring? I have noticed it like really increased and I, like I'm kind of like, excited about that and then also kind of scared like uh oh we got to we got to get everything together fast because people are now coming to the <laughs> um so i i made a new open source friend and uh jerry who is working on some some functionality and sort of starting to dive around the the pipeline code base looking for 
opportunities. So he, he's been asking a ton of questions and driving conversations. So that's exciting. Um, we, I will encourage him to attend the next time because he has some ideas that might warrant some conversation in the SIG around pipeline visualizations, uh, unit testing, some stuff like that. Um, I don't want to go too far into the technical weeds, but he has some very, uh, I'll call them niche interests in, in how to leverage Jenkins. Yeah, I was reading some of that. It's a very interesting uh, conversation. So yeah, that'll be awesome to have more people here. Does anyone have anything else? Just Keegan, you have seen a lot. Oh, I'm sorry, Vlad, go ahead. Yeah, just I wanted to touch uh, one of the issues regarding uh, Hackfest, which is going to happen next week. Uh, in previous discussions, we were trying to make decision on the communication channel, uh, Gitter versus Slack. And I opened the Google Doc, which uh, Oleg uh, authored, I guess. And this is still the question. But at the same time, I noticed that Gitter uh, channel was established for next week uh, uh, HackerFest. So just wanted to clarify, is it the final decision on communication channel that Gitter will be the channel of communicating or it's still not decided yet? Uh, so there's been a lot of conversation about this, not only just for the HackFest, but prior uh of what you know slack versus gitter for now i will say we are going to stay with gitter my hope is is that at some point we'll be able to move that but I, that's just a hope i don't know how real that is going to be i didn't come to fruition if you will, but i don't think it's going to happen anytime soon so gitter will be the official okay thanks for clarifying Keegan, you've, you've heard this is one of our shorter meetings, but did you have any question? Uh, no, nothing really specific. I'm still trying to get up to speed with everything. Um, Understood. Yeah, I don't know if If you have anyone... any questions, we're, we're in the Getter channel. So if you're not there, definitely join there. And if you have any questions and don't be afraid to ask questions, that's for sure. Nobody will fault you for asking questions. <laughs> yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Please do come back. Well, if nobody has anything else, we'll call this a short meeting. I'll give you the rest of your Friday back. And I will see you all online. Awesome. Awesome. I'm going to stop Thanks, the recording. Everyone.